This month we've been talking about the nature of deity. Uh, I want to contend to you tonight that the nature of deity is Jesus Christ. Uh, many other signs Jesus also performed in the presence of the disciples which are not written in this book. But these were written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in His name. Jesus Christ is the nature of deity. Uh, Mark 16, 20 tells us that the uh, sign confirmed the, the signs confirmed the word, uh, or the word was confirmed by the signs. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, glory as the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth, John 1.14. So the nature of de deity is Jesus Christ. If you want to turn to uh, Revelation 19, Revelation 19, join me in that reading. Revelation 19, I begin in verse 11. Revelation 19, I begin in verse 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold a white horse, and he who sat upon it is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness his, he judges and wages war. And his eyes are a flame of fire. And upon his head are many diadems. And he has a name written upon him which no one knows except himself. And he is clothed with a white robe, dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which are in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, were following him on white horses. And from his mouth comes a sharp sword, so that with it he may smite the nations. And he will rule them with a rod of an iron. And he treads the winepress of the uh, fierce wrath of God, the Almighty. And on his robe and on his thigh, he has a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The nature of deity is Jesus Christ. Uh, so as we talk about the nature of deity, I want us to keep in mind that it is none other than Jesus Christ our Lord. Let's turn to Ephesians chapter 1. The book of Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1, I begin in verse 3. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3. Blessed be the, uh, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heaven, heavenly places in Christ, just as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before Him. In love, He predestined us to adoption as sons through Jesus Christ to Himself, according to the kind intention of His will to the praise of the glory of His grace, which He freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness, forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of His grace, which He lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight. He made known to us the mystery of His will according to His kind intention which He purposed in Him with a view to an administration suitable to the fullness of the times, that is, the summing up of all things in Christ, things in the heavens and things upon the earth in Him. Also we have attained, obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to His purpose, who works all things after the counsel of His will. And so I think that the nature of deity is indeed Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus Christ, God, Emmanuel came and dwelt among, among us, walked among us. And so he did these signs so that we might believe. He did that in the day of John. And we can read them and experience them in the, in the same way, basically. Maybe even better, since we're able to go back and reread and restudy. 
But in that day, those people that saw those signs, some believed. Most didn't. In this day, when we can read and reread and restudy these signs, some believe. Most don't. And so, I think we have to look at the nature of deity simply as Jesus Christ, our Lord. And that He can save us. He came and did these signs. The Word was confirmed by these signs. We have that with us tonight. God's Word that we can look at and we can see the signs that he did so that we might believe. And so, uh, as we come to the conclusion uh, of this short talk tonight, uh, you may have something in your life that you may uh, need to confess tonight. You may have something uh, in your life that tells you that you need to come to him that you need to make that good confession tonight, that you need to be buried in baptism with Him into uh, the blood of Christ and then raised to walk as a new creature on this earth. So if you have need to come, if you have uh, need to come to the gospel call tonight, we bid you come as we stand and sing. Amen. Well,